government has reaffirmed its commitment to rescue the abducted girls of the Chibok government secondary school in Borno State. The Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Mr. Mohamed Adoke, at a meeting of the Nigerian Bar Association, said that government has resolved to confront the Islamic sect Boko Haram headlong. He advised lawyers and other Nigerians to team up with government to end all acts of terrorism in the country. Papers are being worked out to ensure that he's uh, returned back home. Uh, on uh, Kalabalgi, we admit, yes, there was an incident, and uh, the community had prior information, they mobilized themselves, and uh, in line with the spirit of vigilance and all that we have been asking citizens to do, they were able to uh, provide some, uh, you know, defend their community. So this is good. This is what we are talking about. And uh, details of this incident will be, will be made known to you in due course. From across the country, lawyers converged on Abuja to attend the National Executive Committee meeting of the Nigerian Bar Association. The Attorney General of the Federation reeled out efforts by the government to curb insurgency in the country. The criminal activities of the Boko Haram sect, especially their incessant mindless bombings and attack on defenseless citizens, have remained a source of concern to government and the entire people of this country. Effort by government to get the sect to to table their grievances in a constructive manner have not yielded positive results. Aware of its constitutional responsibility to provide security and protect life and property, government has resolved to confront this challenge through a cocktail of measures, including the declaration of a state of emergency in the affected states. The chief judge of the Federal Capital Territory advised delegates to arrest the declining standards in the legal profession just as the Minister of State for the FCT stressed the need for lawyers to promote the rule of law. Those who are privileged to be called lawyers have a special duty as the gatekeepers of justice to participate in preserving what we hold so dear to the betterment of our society. The Bar Association and its members have been vibrant in the territory and vigilant on matters of rule of law and human rights such that one can only ignore them at one's peril. Issues of insecurity dominated discussions as the president of the Nigerian Bar Association and the chairman of the FCT chapter appealed to the government to be alive to its responsibility of guaranteeing the security of lives and property. Nigeria is currently facing my reach of problems. Key institutions of democratic governance and security are weak. At the moment, Nigerians are living in great fear. Fear from terrorism, crimes, kidnapping, militancy. These sad occurrences are a reflection of an overall security decline in Africa, especially as escalated by the untamed Arab Spring, particularly that of Libya. The two-day national executive meeting is expected to, among other things, provide guidelines for the election of a new national executive for the association.